Hi everybody, so this is a very last second video, but I think you guys would really benefit from it. So Whiskey is going to get spayed tomorrow, and this is a little Whiskey. And um, you might see appearances of my other dogs and cats because they're right here. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you guys all the things that I'm doing to prepare ahead of time for her spay. So the first thing that I did with her today is I took her on a long hike. I made sure she got swim time, she got to climb rocks, she got to run all over and get all of her energy out. This is gonna really help me when it comes to her being a little bit calmer. And I just wanted to make sure she got time to do the things that she loves that she won't be able to do over the next two weeks. When I brought her home, she got a nice bath. You don't need to bathe your dog when they're getting a surgery, but I know she's not going to be able to be uh, wet for at least two weeks. And so I wanted her to be nice and clean for the doctors, but also she just went swimming and hiking every single day this week. So I made sure she's cleaned completely before she goes into surgery tomorrow. Okay, so let's talk about the things that you should get for your dog when you're preparing for them to have a surgery. So let's jump right into it. So I would suggest if your dog is having a surgery to look into these things ahead of time so you have enough time to order them in time for your dog's recovery period. So the first thing that I would definitely suggest is a blow up cone. This one is made by Kong. They make lots of different kinds of these. Some of them look adorable and look like donuts, but this is a much more comfortable option for your dog rather than the traditional big cone around their head. However, some dogs can still get to their um, surgery site with this on. So the other thing that I have, and this is probably what we're going to use the most, is a surgery recovery shirt. Now this covers her entire belly and then it buttons up on her back. And I really like this brand because it actually leaves her rear open so she will be able to go to the bathroom with this on and I don't have to take it off every time. However, if you have a male dog, they do have a little spot where you can cut out a hole, but you might find that you want to take this off for your dog to go to the bathroom so they don't get it all messed up. So the link for this and that Everything is going to be in the description below. I have all of these things that I'm going to show you guys in my favorite shop on Amazon. So the next thing that I did is I ordered lots of different chews and I mean like a whole ton. So I've got lots of different kinds here. I've got the Earthwise Rawhide Free Chews. Oh my gosh, she wants that. I've got these Beef Cheek Twist Chews. Oh, Oakley wants some. I've got these beef tendon chews and I've got more beef cheek chews um, and I've got a whole bag of bully sticks. Now the reason why I have a bunch of different kinds in here is because I want to make sure that I'm keeping Oakley watch out buddy. Not now guys. I want to make sure I'm keeping them occupied, um, keeping her occupied um, and keeping her interested but I also want to show you guys some things that I have as well. So I'm going to try this out. Bow Wow Buddy just sent this to me and I'm very excited to try this out because this is supposed to be something that your bully stick goes inside of to prevent them from choking on the end. So I really like this. We're gonna try this out and let you guys know how we like it. And I also have a couple of these types of things. This is a bully grip. It does a very similar thing. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> There's nothing in it right now. Lie down, you'll get it later. You'll get it tomorrow after your surgery. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one other really, really cool thing that, sorry if I'm talking fast, I'm trying to like get as much info at you guys as fast as I can. So if you haven't seen these before, these are West Paw Topples and you can put a bunch of food in here, you can freeze it, you can put wet food, you can put biscuits in here, um, and you can even put a bully stick inside of this as well. One thing I really liked about these, so I had this one, but I ordered this one because I wanted to be able to do this. And this takes her way longer to get whatever is inside of it out. So it occupies her time for even longer. So I have a thousand things here. And the reason why I have so many different things is because Whiskey is a really, really active dog. And so I have to change it up for her because she gets bored really quickly. So I know when she's on crate rest and not able to exercise for two weeks, I'm going to have my work cut out for me. So having chews and all the toys I'm about to show you, switching them up constantly is going to help keep her occupied. But... These are super cool. I'm really excited to use these. And you could put bully sticks in here, treats in here, their dog food in here, and then you could put them together. This is a size extra large, this is a size large, and they do come in small as well. So of course, I have my classic Kong toy. Um, if you don't know what a Kong toy is, 
then you definitely need to, <laughs> but got a whole bunch of these, like 10 of them. Um, so I'm going to fill them up and freeze them so that she has them prepared all the time. And I'm not only going to use dog food and treats, I'm going to use things like carrots and fruit and veggies, um, things to keep her occupied that are not going to make her eat so many calories. So I also have different types of treat uh, toys that she has to chew on. So this one is from BarkBox and this one is from JW Dog Toys. Um, this one is one of her favorites and so I usually have to hide it. She's very upset that I'm bringing all these things out and not giving her any. Whisk, okay, okay, you can have the next one. I have a huge selection of licky mats. Um, so this one is really cool because it's a bowl and you can turn it inside out. If I show you, just hold on one second. <laughs> this is the licky mat wobble. So you can do uh, one way or the other. And this is a great way to keep her occupied as well. This one is from Pupford. This one's really great because it sticks onto things. And then I've got two other types of licky mats. So if you don't have a licky mat, these are excellent. You can put lots of different things on them. Like you could use peanut butter, coconut oil, yogurt, um, a whole array of things and freeze it so that your dog soothes himself and calms them down. Okay, now the next thing that I wanted to show you guys are the Nina Audison puzzles. So these are, again, food puzzle toys. These are a little bit more complicated. This one's pretty easy, so she has to twist it to get the treats out. She tends to just take this one and flip it upside down, but that's okay. Um, and then this one, she has to pull this out to lift the lever, which can be really complicated. So they do have easy to hard levels. I've got an easier one and a harder one to make sure that if she's bored, she has something harder to work on. Now I have tons of different um, treat puzzle toys. This one's super cute. You can put treats inside of him in all different places where they have to pull it out. This one, you can put treats inside of the carrots or underneath the carrots and she has to pull those out. Here's your classic snuffle mat. And then I've got a whole snuffle activity mat as well. Um, this one is ginormous. So this one's not exactly travel size, but having a travel size one is really great too. So I've got so many different activity mats. I know you want them right now. <laughs> she wants them all right now. Um, but it's really great to have these things on hand and have a variation, not just one toy. Having a Kong toy is great, but having different things to offer your dog to keep them occupied and mentally stimulated is really helpful. And she's playing with this little guy. So you can have him, but you have to save him for tomorrow, okay? Okay, so I wanted to say all those things first because ordering things ahead of time is going to be really, really important to make sure that you have enough time to get those. Now, I also have different CBD treats um, and hemp oil treats for my dog. So those I'm also going to be using such as uh, hemp peanut butter oil, whiskey. So I have a hemp peanut butter that I'm also going to be giving her as well. Um, as the CBD treats and hemp oil that I have already tried with her beforehand. If you're gonna try using a CBD or hemp oil type product for your dog, don't try it after they've had a surgery and when you're not sure how they're going to act, make sure that you've tried it ahead of time. It's really important to note that I talked to my vet and made sure that I asked that she is going to be on plenty of pain medication and I also told them that she's a very active dog and so they prescribed trazodone just in case to help calm her down. So talk to your vet and make sure that you have all those things in place. Now the other thing that I did is I made sure to clean and sanitize my car crate that she will be laying in every time we're in the car. We will be traveling next week and so I will be lifting her in and out of the crate but she'll be spending a lot of time inside of the crate and I wanna make sure it's completely clean so that her incision area is not at risk of getting dirty. Now I also crate cleaned an indoor crate and cleaned the pads and mats inside of her indoor crate and I put her crate inside of an area of the house where she will be able to be with us as a family. Usually my crates are down in my basement, but I wanted to make sure that while she's on crate rest, she doesn't feel left out and she still gets to hang out with us. I put her special blanket and pillow in there. I put her favorite toy in there and I made sure she has a water bucket inside of her crate as well. So I did all of these things ahead of time to make sure we're as prepared as possible. We might find out that afterwards there was something I could have done differently, but I'm feeling extra prepared for it. We are ready. We have to make sure that we are prepared for our dogs to be feeling a little loopy and confused afterwards, but I think I've got everything taken care of. If you have anything that I didn't suggest that you think would be a really great addition to 
getting your dog entertained or having something for your dog after surgery, please let me know in the comments down below because maybe I need to get it, but it might also benefit other people as well. Wish us luck. Uh, whiskey surgery is tomorrow. And if you guys are looking for any of the things that I mentioned in this video, they are all on my shopping Amazon list in the description. So click on that. You'll find everything you need. And I hope that you guys benefit from this video. Until next time, say bye, Whiskey. Tucker wants to say bye too. Bye, guys.